Hey, that is not me. Okay, stop shitting around. Oh, ow! No, not the hair. No! What is this? I look like a, like a game show host. Lighten up, McGee. We're in junior high now. We've got to get a new look. You know, make a statement. Be hip. Hip schmip. I got Elvis hair. Change it back. Okay. What's getting into you, kid? What are you talking about? Ever since you started hanging around with that Rex guy at school, you've been acting different. That's because Rex Rogers, who happens to be the coolest guy at Eastfield Junior High, is going to show me what's cool. In fact, he's coming over in a few. In a few what? A few. You know, minutes. Yeah. If you ask me, old Rex is a little too cool for his own good. All I know is, if you want to be someone in junior high, you've got to be like Rex Rogers. Dude, how's a blow drying? Uh, hey, Rexter. Styling, big time. Oh. Hey, what's with all this kid junk? This place looks like Mr. Rogers' neighborhood. Doodles? Very uncool, Nick. Shit! Who is he calling a doodle? Huh. Men judge by the outward appearance. Cool. What? Let me see that. Men judge by the outward appearance, but the Lord looks at a man's thoughts and intentions. Ha <laughs> ha! That rooster missed the whole point. Oh, oh I, I was just boxing up all this old stuff for the, you know, the dump. Hey, Nick. Nick? Your Junior Ranger magazine came in the mail. I hope you don't mind. I cut the recipe for the raccoon cookies. You know, I, I hate to see you rush out, but uh, I think it's time for your 4 o'clock feeding. <laughs> what? <sighs> what a drag. Yeah, totally juvenile. Uh, why don't we uh, study for that US history test? Hey, bag the books, dude. What's to study? Christopher Columbus checked this place out. Now we're here. Well, uh, we could comb our hair. Excellent. You're catching on. Nick! Rex! Dinner! I guess this will have to wait. <laughs> No, Jamie, you can't be our tennis team mascot. Anyway, why would you want to be a mascot for a team that has exactly zero wins this century? Oh, lost again, huh? I'll say. I don't know why they call it love when you don't score any points. It's more like total humiliation. Hey, Miss Sam. Hi, Rex. Hey, Ma. We're ready to do dinner. Well, I'm almost through doing chicken. Then we can eat. So, Sarah. It's only like 18 months before I hit the freshman class. Maybe you and me could get together sometime. Make some memories. Sure, Rex. Should I pick you up at your house, or would you rather have your mommy drop you off here? Hey, excellent. OK, let's eat. Hey, BBQ Yardbird. I'm stoned. <laughs> huh? He's excited about the chicken. Oh, oh. Hi, everybody. Oh, hi, Em. Hi, Dad. Just in time. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I got a late call at the office, but it was worth it. Oh. Uh, nothing like a great meal to celebrate a little great news. Great news? Patience. 
<laughs> Let's give thanks first. For this meal and the hands that made it, we thank you, Lord. Bless our home and our friend Rex. Amen. 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 So, David. Mm -hmm. The news. Well, Nick's principal, Mrs. Price, called me about uh, next week's 25th annual Battle of the Bands. The Endless Summer. It's supposed to be like the most awesome battle the school has ever had. Tell me you're not the chaperone. Even better. You see, 25 years ago, when your mom and I were eighth graders at Eastfield, the first Battle of the Bands was our idea. Mm-hmm. It's prehistoric, dude. The good news is, they've asked us to come back and host this battle. <laughs> you're, you're hosting? That's right. This year's Battle of the Bands is going to be a Martin family affair. Oh, oh Nick. Oh, aren't you just... Starting to sound like the endless bummer. Dad's news was like a gnarly wave breaking right on your head. But Captain Slick and Sidekick Nick still think they're the sharpest fins in the pipeline. Whoa! Cowabunga! What about one of these? Dude, you gotta stop shopping at Geeks R Us. There's not one designer label in there. Well, well yeah, but look, look that's look, all I... Nick, it's like this. Life is like one big amusement park. Now the cool people, they're on the inside having a cash time. And all the uncool people, they're on the outside trying to buy a ticket in. Take a guess where you get your tickets. I, I don't know. Junior high, dude. That's where your future begins. That's where you either get your ticket in, like me, or... You're left out? Exactly. But don't worry about it. I'm here to save you from geekdom. We just may need to go mauling. Huh? Go to the mall? Something's still missing. I got it. They're yours, bro. Keep a spare. <laughs> totally non geeky. Totally cool. Definitely in. Thanks to Rex, the next day at school I was a new Nick. 100% radically cool. Unfortunately, the old Nick caught up with me in about 10 seconds. No, thanks. I heard they've got some really cool antiviruses. Uh, look, I I'm not really into computers anymore. I'll catch you later, dude. Dude? Looking buff, dude. Nice kicks. Thanks, dude. They're real leather. What other kind are there? Babs Jenkins. Me and my newest uh, friend, Nick Martin. Do I, like, know you? Oh, well, well, actually, I sit near you in Spanish. Oh, I hadn't noticed. Wow. Hey, Philip. Why is Nick hanging out with Ken and Barbie? Got me. When did he start wearing black? He looks like Batman. Hey. What's up with Martin? That's what we'd like to know. Oh. Hi, Derek. It's not so bad. So, Nick, you're gonna bag that Nimrod squad you usually hang with and go to the battle with us, right? Really? Yeah, sure. Right, just do. Hard to believe, huh? Not too many kids can say they hang out with me. Later, Nickster. Yeah, yeah, later.
by the time school was letting out, everyone just about had it with the Nixter. So, Nick, what's with the new look? Well, what's wrong with it? Is it too cool for you? No, it's fine. It's just different. Well, I wouldn't expect you to like it. Sorry. Yo, Nick. Yo, Renee. Hey. Hey, Jordan. Hey, man. Ever since you showed me that new 3D thing, my drawings are popping. Facts, I'm thinking about having a double career. Star NFL quarterback and computer graphics genius. Yeah, Jordan. So, Renee, uh, you guys talked about the Battle of the Bands yet? You all going together or what? Sounds great to me. Hey, how about you, Nick? No, oh, thanks. Dude. This is Jessica. She's going to go to the battle with us. Cool. What are we slumming around here for? Let's go get ourselves some sodas. Great. Listen, Nixter, a little advice. When you're cool, everybody else is just a wannabe. Very uncool to hang out with the wannabes. Wannabe? Wanna be what? Wannabe. I'd like to lock old Rexy in a little room and throw away the room. But I've got a more important mission right now. Operation Save Nick from himself. A little toothpaste and bleach will take that stain right out, honey. Come on, slip off your shirt and I'll take care of it for you. And take care of it myself, Mom. Well, okay. Oh, Nick. Guess what? Your dad doesn't know it yet, but I'm getting out his old saxophone, and he's going to be asked to play a little jam session at the Battle of the Bands. Oh, won't that be cool? Great. Like being hit in the head with a glacier. Good job, Nick. Might as well have drooled on yourself. That's only a plain white T-shirt, commonly known as underwear. <sighs> McGee, this is the only cool shirt I have. What about the other one that says, cartoons are our friends? Get real, McGee. It might as well say, I'm a geek and proud of it. You used to love that shirt. Yeah, well, that was before. You mean, before you got cool? Well, yeah. Kid, you're out of control. That half her brains has made you somebody else. You're bagging on your family and all your friends, too. Well, hang it up, McGee. Whoever gave you the right to tell me what to do? Well, I'm your best friend. I'm not so sure of that anymore. Draw me some Q-tips. I thought I heard you say, we're not friends anymore? You did. Rex was right. Drawing cartoons are uncool for a guy my age. Cartoons are for kids. Say it ain't so, kid. Say it ain't so. Just go away. All right, leave me alone, McGee. Now that I cleaned all the kid stuff out of my room and my life, I'm awesomely cool. Of course, my parents. That's a different story. How do we look, Nick? <laughs> <laughs> this is a joke, right? I mean, you guys aren't gonna go like that, are you? Nobody's wearing costumes. Of course we are. Your principal thought it would be fun if we dressed up in a 60s look. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, yeah, but couldn't you guys just wear a peace sign or something? What's the matter, Nick? Don't want to be seen with half the mamas and papas. <laughs> uh, now that you mention it, Dad, uh, I'm going to walk with my friends. Nick, I thought we'd go as a family. Mom, I see you guys all the time. I'd just rather go with my friends. We understand that, son. We just assumed that tonight, since your mom and I have been asked to be hosts... Oh, that's another thing. 
why does everybody have to make such a big deal of this 25-year thing anyway? Come Monday, every kid in school is going to be laughing at me and saying, there goes Nick, son of the world's oldest living teeny boppers. Are you embarrassed by us, son? It's just not cool to have your parents show up at the biggest event of the year. It's the ultimate humiliation. We always said there's some choices we have to let you make on your own. If you don't want to go with us, I guess that's up to you. I'm trying to stay out of your way tonight. So Trey, cool. <laughs> uh, hey, dude, uh, when are we going in? Hey, chill, dude. We'll get around to it. Meanwhile, there's only one thing I want to do. What's that? Be seen, bud. Be seen. That's what makes life cool. Right. Muppet. Friend. No, you mean former friend, don't you? Hey, watch this. on the South Beach and I want to show it off. It's cool. Come on. No, not that way, dude. That's the entrance for people who have to buy tickets. Don't we have to buy tickets? No way, bro. You're with me, remember? Yeah, cool. Testing. <clears throat> Testing? Ah. In a few minutes, we'll be ready to start our endless summer battle of the bands. And I guarantee you, it will be very groovy. Did you see what Sherry Nettley is wearing? Don't you just want to gag? <laughs> hey. Check out the Neanderthals. <laughs> Can't we go mingle, Rex? Not if you want to be cool. See, if you want to be cool, you got to find some place like this. Let the minglers come to you. If you want to be seen, you got to stand out in the crowd. Rex, you mind if I have a little talk with the squid? Yeah, sure, Derek. In private. Yeah. Y yeah, sure. What are you doing hanging out with that loser for, Martin? Loser? He's the most popular kid in school. When I hang with him, uh, I'm popular, too. Popular, man? I thought you knew it was important. I do. You did. But I'm not sure anymore. Look. Just be who you are, man. 
These things don't fit you. Thanks, guys. And, and thanks to all our helpers tonight. Ah, are you groovy guys and gals hip for our big battle? Then it's my pleasure to introduce two former Eastfield students who 25 years ago tonight started our very first Battle of the Bands. Those very special people went on to become husband and wife, and they're back with us to host tonight's battle. Please put your hands together and welcome David and Elizabeth Martin. Thank you all very much. You know, Mrs. Price, uh, 25 years hasn't changed this place all that much. No. The drinking fountain still doesn't work. <laughs> it's a great honor for Elizabeth and me to be here tonight. In a few moments, we're going to introduce some of the most talented young musicians in all of Eastfield. Four bands in all, each doing a 15-minute set. But before we do that, as one Eastfield Eagle to another. I'd like to offer each of you a special challenge. This is one of the most important times in your life. A lot of what's going to happen to you later on is going to start right here in junior high. So get a good start. Believe in yourself, your family, friends who really care about you. And above all, understand who you are and what you believe in here inside be yourself and uh, now we'll step aside and let the battle begin starting with the moldy oldie that opened the first battle taking away the armadillos uh, hold on a second David you're gonna either love me or hate me for this but will you do us the honor of blowing a little riff in the first song, just like you did 25 years ago. Um, okay. <laughs> you guys ready? about sneaking into the flicks later on tonight. What do you say? Look, Rex, 
Thanks for inviting me and all, but I don't think so. And one more thing. I don't see too well with these on. Way to go, Martin. You know, kid, I missed you. McGee, you're back. Yeah, I figured you might still need me around. You know, Nick, I think you got it all wrong. Cars are what's truly cool. 385, dual cams, overdrive, watch this. McGee, what are you doing? Feeling rubber! Whoa! Nicholas! How do you stick up to this thing? Look out! Whoa! 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 Hey, dudes. I mean, I mean, hi, guys. Uh, do you mind if I hang with you? Uh, guys? I guess Dad was right. I think I'm finding out that true friends think you're really cool just like you are. And you know, there's something incredibly awesome about that.